Estoy pensando en la escala, estoy pensando en las proporciones. Me gustaría coincidir y verlas porque será diferente a cómo se ven en otro sitio. Forma parte del mobiliario urbano, un arte que está lleno de sumas de influencias eh, que recoge desde la escala del Po hasta las texturas de la pintura informal eh, o abstracta, un arte abierto y siempre receptivo. Muchas esculturas que hago eh, que tienen una escala normal, no me siento a gusto con ellas hasta que no las veo eh, ampliadas y hechas a otro formato. El formato grande me atrae y creo que me muevo en el formato grande con más facilidad a veces que en, en formatos más pequeños, tienen, tienen más fuerza. Las esculturas en la calle cambian absolutamente todo el tiempo y también la mirada, las esculturas acompañan el, y, y el entorno te ayuda. He ranks among, if not the top living Spanish contemporary artists. We were going to be hosting a solo show for uh, Manolo Valdez to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the gallery. We submitted the idea of uh, exhibiting five monumental sculpture. So there's five sculptures in and around the DIFC. These were strategically placed and we've worked together with the DIFC uh, to find the, the, the proper curation. Uh, we had to actually make them. None of these were readily available. So all of these came straight from Valencia. We have shipped a combine of 30 tons worth of sculptures in 23 crates. Uh, and it took five containers that got to Dubai by sea. We had to use a 52-meter crane, uh, countless uh, flatbed trucks, some forklifts. The installation took about 48 hours. The team of Manolo Valdez flew in, especially from Valencia. So we had a team of seven people who've been working on Manolo sculpture, some of them for more than 21 years. They know these things, you know, inside out. Something very interesting about Manolo Valdez, besides the fact that he is, you know, one of our blue chip artists and that he has nothing to prove in the art world anymore because after 300 exhibition, 70 pieces in museum and so on and so forth, he's just a monument of contemporary art scene. So whenever I look at one of Manolo Valdez's painting, especially the portraits, I'm going to see things from Matisse, I'm going to see things from Velázquez. And when you do talk to him, he doesn't put too much thought in his painting. You know, he just wants the interpretation to be highly personal. It's something very poetic and it touches me a lot. 90% of the works that are on show in the gallery were created specifically for Dubai. So if you see paintings made out of wood, you have paintings made out of canvas, the use of alabaster, the use of marble, steel, white bronze. It's, you know, it, it, it's extremely varied. Estoy muy abierto. El, eh, yo voy por la, por la calle y siempre eh, eh, pienso que, que soy un cazador, que voy eh, siempre buscando, que voy siempre a ver de qué me apropio. Seguramente eran de distintas nacionales, de distintos países, aunque viven aquí, ya que esta es una ciudad eh, que, en la que conviven tantas culturas. Alguien dijo de una de, de mis esculturas, ah, tiene esos pelos, esos pinchos, me resulta agresiva, parece una bruja. Eh, otra persona me dijo, me parece un nido, que es todo lo contrario, algo, algo que acoge. Es decir, ¿cómo es posible que la misma imagen pueda producir dos sensaciones tan opuestas? Bueno, eh, eh, a mí me gusta eso. Manuelo Valdés, para mí, es el biggest contemporary Spanish artist alive. Um, he's living, as you know, in New York for more than 25 years now. So he's considered like an American, which is very good for the quotation, you know, of an artist. I had the, the luck and the chance, you know, to be able to exhibit Manolo's work uh, in a solo show in our Paris gallery, in Singapore gallery, you know, last year. And we are very proud and happy to do this solo show in our uh, Dubai location. So we have now 14 locations, Opera Gallery, and the appreciation of his work is very universal. 20 years ago, the art market was almost America, you know, Japan, little bit in Europe. Now it's worldwide, you know, we have collectors in India, collectors in China, in New Zealand, Russia, from, from everywhere. And more and more people now, they want to put a part of the asset they have in art. He's always changing, you know, his style. There is a big evolution, you know, um, all the time with his work. Always new creation, you know, are coming. And this is the way of a big artist.